Captain Shorty, how are you this fine morning? Oh, you think it's gonna storm? No. Welcome back to a new video. My name's Cooper. If you're new here, uh, so uh, today's video, the uh, old darn it was called Land. I don't know. Yeah, I darn it, forgot the name. Anyway, soil conservation's coming out. That's what it was. Soil conservation's coming out uh, today. Check the creek. So this is in the morning. Um, so hopefully we'll come. He'll come today. Um, he's supposed to come. What was it last week? He didn't. So hopefully he does come today. Um, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. If you can't tell, there's not too many clouds in the sky. Well, there's some here. Not so much that direction. Maybe there's rain, maybe there's not. I don't have none on my phone, but uh, it's sure lightning and acting like it could, so. Who knows, I say this darn weather's ridiculous. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it comes to jobs, a weather man is the only job that you can have and be wrong and still have a job. So uh, I don't understand them at all, it seems like. I mean, me and my uncle was talking about this last night. His phone said it was going to rain at 90% chance of three. My phone said 50%. These phones don't know what the heck they're doing anymore. I mean, they don't. I'm uh. And then the news will tell you something else. And then every other channel, channel five, channel six, seven, whatever, nine, they're 25, whatever. They're all freaking different. I don't understand them. I don't think half of them are right. Or half the time they ain't even right. So it could. Oh, and so let's show you to the new edition of the barn. So you can probably hear. Hi guys. Anyways, there's a white cat, a black and, and two calicos. I'm pretty sure that's what you call that. Calico, calico, whatever. There you go. You can see that other calico. There's that black one. There's the wild one. Anyways, that's a new addition to the old barn. We've been uh, having some problems with some rats in here, so um, somebody was just going to throw them away, so I decided to get them to, so uh, they're going to make a uh, new addition to the horse barn to prevent rats because I'll show you some damage they've been doing. Darn it, I don't have that saddle in here. There's one saddle that's right here right by the side, but my saddle because it's up there. But right here on the sheep school, sheep wool and skin, there's a, uh, some rats been eating it, thinking it was something to eat on some of these saddles i don't think they touched that for some reason but the one right here they did a bunch there's i think they did mine too because i had a story one time of a moving pads and there's rats in right underneath it. so uh i mean these barns outside are they're not I mean, you know like that little door right there if I could fit through there, I mean, how you really sell it much better than that. I don't know. Here's something that's going to be open. You know, you leave it open while I saddle a couple of horses right here. I can get in right then. So, there's a new addition. <coughs> Bust me. Uh, but, uh,. When they get big enough, hopefully they can keep all the rats in here. We used to have like a bunch of them, way more than that. But uh, they all just decided to run away. All right, so welcome back. Uh, that guy about the land and stuff, he uh, he said it needed to be fixed. And said, uh, we was, you know, I didn't go with him. I had some other stuff to do in the morning. But uh, he said it needed to be fixed. Wasn't for sure what they need to do and said, uh, there's a little bit of his control, so they gotta send somebody else out to come look at the main 
head guy, so I don't know when he's coming, then I don't know when his crew's gonna come, so I need a video out for y'all, so the rest of the video is gonna be about me riding him and I. Kinda be a shorter video, but I need a good video out for y'all this week, so hopefully this will do. The thing y'all might not care about, but I like it, is uh, bits. Can't really see what he got in there now, but there you are. Anyways, I have no idea what that thing's called, and I don't think he likes it, but I'm not for sure. But, uh, bit we rode him when we first got him is this, the little old ring snap. And then we went to this one, what's well, a little bit more aggressive. And then, did you just move on me? Sure, you know I don't like that. I gotta put you right back where you go. You gotta teach them manners. Anyways, here's the other bit I like riding on them. So he was riding that bit and this bit around the same time. This is the bit we were opening him with. And then I was riding this one. And then this is a BE or, or a knockoff version, but it, we call this one the Selborne bit. And we also really like that bit. So. I like this bit because I get, um, I've only rode it like three times. So, the last three days. But, the thing I like about it is I can make them bend at the pole. And when we was cabling yesterday, a uh, buddy of ours got in some, bought some bits, and he had a, uh, had a, uh, or what do you call it? john israel bit and uh we really he let us ride that with him when he was over there and we really liked it and it looked a lot like that bit but wasn't broke in the middle so we want to try see what he do with that or i say me pop said it'd be all right to try him with it and i think uh, it'd be a good deal Cause he did get it, it was a pretty nice bit, but my gosh, them John Israels are high. He's wanting 700 for that one. He's, he's on a trade deal trying to get rid of it. But uh, my gosh, that's high. I think it is for a bit. Of course, we ride a lot of, uh, what are they called, cow punchers. Even though you ain't heard me talk about any of our bits being cowpuncher bits, but we got a couple. Oh, now I'm, uh, you keep moving, man, but all the time, every time I turn you around. Son, you're gonna have a night to pay for it. I try to teach my horses not to let them get away with anything. It'll come back for you. Anyways, we're fixing to head out, and then, uh, I'm gonna test out this bit before I leave. Make sure we can get along with all right. I don't get stranded out in the pasture. So uh, let's test it out. Stay right there for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'll get you in a minute. I'm gonna place your mouth. Really After the heckness is over, they have a fresh, clean deal of milk was washed out. The outside of it, I did not wash. They have plenty of feed. There's a white one. I don't know where the calico one is. Is that you? There he is. Cody, just give me a minute. Let's get back riding. I was out here riding through the cattle. Making sure everything's all right. I figured some of y'all are probably wanting hey, buddy. Why are the cattle in the wheat field? Or if you don't know what's going on here. But uh, cattle are here. Um, we left the gate open with his disc. Um, and then the tractor blew the head gas. So we had to get that fixed. And the gate was open. But you know how it washed the creek with? We had them shut off here. And there was in that other pasture. Anyways, we decided to let them back in here. Because there's so much grass. And we was just going to let her go. But uh. What are you trying to eat every freaking thing? Anyways, they end up in here, and now they won't want to come off here. 
and then the only time I do is to get a drink from the pond right over there. So I'm not really for sure why they like it here, <laughs> but they do. But there's plenty of grass over here, plenty up there, plenty on that field over there, and what plenty right over there in that field over there and that one of these fields. So they got plenty of grass, but for some reason they like it here. I don't know why they hate. They don't like going over there in that field. I like that field. I don't know. I guess there's some pretty good grass there. I mean, a little bit of weeds, but there's there's some decent grass. I just don't understand it. Anyways, I'll see y'all when I get to hell. Well, the cat, kittens. What do you call them? Cats, kittens, whatever. They're alive. What do you think, buddy? Huh? You do. Hello. I know you probably can't tell, but I'm not a cat person. I don't like them at all. I remember uh, when I was little, you know, I told you we used to have some barn cats. You know, a while cats go, they, uh, so we raised a couple litters of them. And when we uh, did this, Oh, I'll tell you, you know, I was a little kid, didn't know nothing. I tried to pet one of them wild cat, kittens or cats, whatever you call them. Those little ones like that. They'd scratch the heck out of my arms. And then I was wanting to be mean and then. But uh, they did a lot of end scenes and hell, I didn't know. Looking back at it now, you know. But I still hold resentment to cats because of that. But, uh, if I ain't already said, I'm the only one here with the inches for the last next three days. Hey, shorty. So, you know, mom, my mom says his business. Mom's getting ready to go back to school. Uh, my grandpa, had, uh, my grandma lived on a three day vacation. Uh, so, just me for the next three days so nobody else here to take care of them so i gotta take care of the little cats you know i, I hate for them something them die on my watch you know so i gotta take care of them even though i don't like cats it's just you know part of it so uh well i guess here's the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed probably shorter video or no my ranting it's probably not been as uh, short as i think it is See y'all on next one. Go keep ranching. Keep making some wood leather goods. I'll see y'all on next one, old son.